Hello everyone, and welcome to the Game Development course at the University of Brighton. My name is Almas, and I'm a Senior Lecturer in Game Development. In this video, I'll provide some high-level details about your course at Brighton, and we'll also consider how the two major game development courses are different. Your journey into year one, which begins from next week, will introduce you to basic game development concepts. You'll learn about game design, game architecture, and fundamental notions such as main loop, capturing and handling input, updating the game world, and rendering game objects. We'll also cover theoretical aspects, including game maths, physics, and collision detection. Major assignment in year one is to use the Unity game engine and the C-sharp programming language to produce a 2D, 2D game prototype. As part of the assignment, we'll also explore template projects available from Unity. Next, in year two, we build on your acquired knowledge and consider more complex game concepts, such as artificial intelligence, character animations, and shaders. The primary language you will use is C++, and the primary environment will be Unreal Engine. We'll consider a range of template projects provided by Unreal and build on them. Some of you will also have an opportunity to design and implement your own game engine or a subsystem of an engine. A major assignment, similar to year one, is to produce a game prototype, this time using Unreal Engine. So by end of year two, you will have produced a minimum of two standalone game demos. Your final adventure begins with year three, commonly known as the final year. This is where you deep dive into low-level concepts such as networking to enable us to build multiplayer games. The primary language will be C++ or C Sharp and your game engine of choice. An important module that you will complete in the final year is the final year project. For the entire academic year, you will work on your own game with a supervisor of your choice. You'll experience the full game development process from coming up with a new game idea, turning it into a game design, bring it to life in a prototype game demo, and finally packaging and deploying the product. I will now briefly explain the differences between the two major courses that we offer. One is digital game development and the other is computer science for games. Digital game development is more focused on design, whereas computer science for games is more focused on programming. To clarify, both courses will have a decent amount of programming, design and art. However, digital game development compared to computer science for games will have more design and vice versa for computer science for games. This completes your high level overview of game development courses. If you see on me online or on campus, feel free to say hi and I'm always happy to talk games and software. And I wish you all the best with your studies. Thanks for your time.